stage on now fight who are going to are we going to have we are going to have a roy against pac-man all right well and Tox Sex is going to play Roy, so kind of like something close to Ike in a way. So yeah. let's see how it goes. Definitely. A Beato Shield. Okay, I yeah, get it. <laughs> knows the character. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think when it comes to all the Fire Emblem characters, right, and especially when you see popular Fire Emblem characters being played like Roy, right, we have tons of Cola Vlads, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, you can usually, for a lot of players, they really catch on to how these like top tiers, these mid tiers play based off of watching other players. Indeed. So I mean T Cow could get some advice from T, you know, in the in the head, in the VODs, but right now it just looks like Toxics really kinda understands yeah. why. I think overall Toxic's per character is more forgiving in yeah. a way that you can just use those hitboxes one after the other. Hey, he's going to finish in such a way. On the other side, well, T-Cat has Pac-Man, kind of a technical character. Yeah. He needs to be wary of those recoveries, all of those fruits, all of those uh, hydrants. And if he doesn't know the character or haven't played with it, it's going to be kind of fatal to him in that specific matchup. Yeah, I was about to say, we haven't seen T-Cat really kind of work around Hydrant or nope. throw out Hydrant here, going for the F-Tilt there. Nah. But unfortunately, Toxic going to go right behind him. T-Cat just looking for a way to try and get a smash attack out, but no work with the Hydrant at all. Yeah, you know that T-Cat here is just used to get through, to throw fists at his opponent because he's been going for those air smashes. He went for those up tits before. The up tits is not like the best tool of Pac-Man. So if you go for this again and again, it means that yeah, you, you do not want to use the projectiles. You just want to get in and go for those huge hits. Yep, for sure. Here we go, though. T-Cat has Bell Who's out. Bell? Yeah, I mean, Bell is going to be a help here. There we and go. And still going to be able to find it. Unfortunately for Toxic's actually not going to be able to snap ledge in that moment. So that's really unfortunate for Toxic's, but the double edge dance. I right, mean, that stocks away. Yeah, <laughs> that side B close range is going to be fit for T-Cat. One stock behind, going for the grab, whiffing it and getting furnished for it. Again, jab into fair. Yeah, a jab into, oh, okay, up TT to back here. Perfectly well done here. By the side, Toxic's already going forward with that stock. <laughs> neutral B in neutral, why not? 86% already on T-Cat. Yeah, honestly could have done it as well, but it, it seems like T-Cat just falling behind just a little bit. Ooh. I love how Toxic's going for the down air there, but I would have pr probably rather seen some of the up air chains come out here. But honestly, double edge dance right at the ledge could potentially do it, or just an F smash right from center stage. We're going on to game number two. It just seems like a little bit of a matchup check there. Yeah, that was a matchup check. And like, do you see the faces they are doing? I yeah. think like literally he knew how to play Roy and he didn't know how to play Pac-Man. That's mm -hmm. That's literally how you can sum up that game. Let's see if uh, like random is going to uh, RNG is going to be more lenient here on the second game for T-Cat. Give me a Meta Knight or something, man. Okay. Oh, I was close. yeah, yeah. I was yeah. Close. <laughs> I was cl imagine, imagine. We, we already have Meta Knight at home. Meta Knight at home is Kirby. So <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the Meta Knight we have at home is Kirby. I love it. Regardless, Belmont. Yeah, so that's European Belmonts. Do you have we any? We got Noxumbra here in France, okay. also, also, and uh, we got also um, Leo Dacant in uh, the south, uh, west of France, if I'm correct. But is it going to be enough? Because this is kind of a specific character, literally just as Pac Man we saw before. However, on the side of T-Cat, we have well, Kirby. He won the trophies, so if he does manage to get in, it's going to be quite well. And those multi jumps are going to help him edge guard uh, well, Simon here. Yeah, you're talking about the edge guard, and that's really important for T Cat on this Kirby here. Uh, Kirby is one of those characters that I feel like a lot of people sleep on. Go. We have a North American rep, Jaja, Jaja, who is fantastic with the character and is always willing to go off there, just like T Cat is willing to do right now. Belmont, known for their very lackluster recovery. Indeed. So Kirby can really capitalize off of that, but it's a matter of getting around all these projectiles first. Yes, so if he doesn't have room to breathe, the game is going to go on T-Cat's side. However, if, for example, he does manage to reset, and on a big stage such as t -T -T -C, it's going to be quite easy, he will be able to find a kill here. So I think here the, uh, the, uh, the error for his, so, sorry, the error from T-Cat here was to let him get room for to breathe and to get back on the wow. train. And those platforms are going to help him a lot. Yeah, that was great stuff by Toxic there, recognizing that the stage was going away. And once again, like we talked about, Belmont recovery, not that great. But T-Cat's still going to be able to at least even things back up. They're doing a really good job of catching the Holy Water because that could be a...
burn sentence coming out <laughs> hey, from one. Belmont. But the Endos platform are going to help Toxus get back on the terrain. We see them already save his life a few times. Let's see how it goes from now. The combo was done for it well on the side of t -Cat. He did manage to get some damage on, but is it going to be enough? I'm not sure. Yep. Right. And you see how the rhythm is already a bit different here. Yeah, finds the upbeat on any other stage other than Town and City that might have KO'd, especially yeah. with the large large ceiling that we have here. But the upbeat out of shield, it's the Ooh. until up air. Smooth. Oh, I would love would have loved to see the F smash come out right after that. Would have been a nice way to end the combo. But good Nair out of the There's fire here. Yep, that's what you oh, have to one, do. Sorry. You have to go all the way out there. Nair is not your option though. It was actually forward air. Yeah. Oh, the shield here didn't have a good day. But let's see how it goes <laughs> from now. Okay, finally we see those product ties. Yep. And it's gone. Yep, and it's gone. Honestly, though, for those of you who may not know, the strong hit of Belmont's whip is actually at the tip. There's actually a little spiky ball there. So, like, positioning, spacing with this character is really good, but now T-Cat utilizing the platforms of the stage to actually go out yeah. there and you get that edge guard. We were talking about positioning, and this is literally what T-Cat had done well here in the in direction they had. So he saw the air dodge and went for the platform to cover with after perfectly well done. He gained the stock, but is it going to be enough? He needs to go there and find a few interactions just to be sure to gain that game. There it and is. I think it's going to be enough. There it is. That's it. Done. That's there all you go. needed to do, my Match friend. Matchup abused perfectly with my ticket. Yep, that's all you needed to do. Run off fair twice. Done. That's a Belmont stock gone. So good on TCAT being our. We, every single set we've had was game three, hasn't it? Or uh, except no. for one. Yeah, the, the cup the one. The, <laughs> the, cup the, the cup one. <laughs> the cup guy. You can't forget the cup guy, Diamond. Uh, but honestly, everybody's randoms here seem to be pretty good. Yeah, the, the randomness events out the uh oh. Uh oh. Another Lucario. This is our third. Yeah, this is our third, and this is time to see how he does with it, because we've seen a few already. And against Bayonetta. Uh, Bayonetta is one of those characters, again, if you do not know how to do those combos, you're yeah. going to suffer a lot. For sure. I Obviously, it's no no lie here that Bayonetta was nerfed from Smash 4, so that not just anyone can oh, pick up the character thankfully. anymore and play. Yeah, it's true. Well, in Europe, we have Bloom Forever doing yep. wonders in UK. So you can still do stuff with the character. We also have Lima, for example. So yeah, there are still a few players with that character. However, on the side of Lucario, well, he's not taking damage, which is good and on the same way bad. So yeah. <laughs> I feel like Toxics is trying to figure out how to get yeah, started with the side B. So yes. You know, the ABK, Bats Within, actually going to help them out a lot, but just going to use the down air here. Woo the, the down, down smash, smash and get stepped on, T-Cat. Sheesh. <laughs> Step on me. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, it did work here, if catching a two frame with down smash and finding hit quality, which is perfect against a Lucario, because there is no aura left on the blue doggo here. Is it going to be enough, though? for Toxes to find the second kill, because you see already the S smashes are out on the side of T-Cat. He wants to finish that so quickly. Very true. Dash attack is going to come in through T-Cat here, trying to read where Toxics is going to go. Great follow-up on the platform with the back air here. And now, honestly, this hedge guards all T-Cats, but I don't think T-Cat knows about that side B. It would definitely yeah. KO ben Bayonetta at this point. Yeah, is he going to go for it? No, he's going for a grab. Yeah, I think he doesn't know about that side B. Let's see how it goes after it. He's going to connect. Still ramping up damage on the side of T-Cat and the landing here. So the more hits you go do on the air with Bayonetta, the more landing lag you will have when you land. And you see here how you got punished with that Aura Sphere. So perfectly we bound by T-Cat. Yep. Stopping the bleeding and um, getting back in the game. Mm. Oh, perfect. Yep, there we go. I, I'm loving the combos here, but once again, Toxic yes. going to be able to find another loose smash attack. Derek, is this what you call an American air dodge? Uh, Yes, okay. yes, that is an American air dodge. Marvelous! <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> getting ahead here with Toxics and uh, already 10% of the last talk of T-Cat. Yep, I, I mean, so far, I mean, it, it's just been Toxics <laughs> stacking on so much damage and then just getting the read on the air dodge both times with down smash and up smash here. T-Cat, though, down to the last stock, which means, you know, we could be down for, you know, a couple more side Bs, but once again, I don't think T-Cat knows too I much about it. I think we haven't seen one side B the whole game, so yeah, he doesn't know about that. Yeah, too. unfortunate. But still, Toxics, I would love to see a side B on stage and actually get one of the witch twist combos up, but if we oh. don't see it, that's okay. I mean, yeah, for now, the, I think the biggest combo we had was uh, down smash. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
Okay, gonna bounce off the side here. T-Cat trying to read the aerial movement on the platform. Not gonna be able to find it. Looking for the back air and will find it. We're going down to the last stock game. Yeah, Free finding beat. it quite quickly because he didn't take that much damage when you think about it. Okay. Is he going to do anything off up throw here? No combo though afterwards, which is just shame again. Yep. Alright. Uh, down throw. <laughs> Who does that? He does. I mean, T-Cat does. <laughs> oh, go down smashes the, again. Yeah, <laughs> but the air dodge actually going above this time instead of going all the way down into the blast zone here. T-Cat stacking on a ton of damage at this point, looking much better. Yeah. And actually, even to back up, the Aura Sphere is actually going to hit. Wait. Looking for the back air, and honestly, this has gotten a is lot closer. Is it going closer. to do it? I mean, Bats within the <laughs> He's going for the counters now. He's uh, quite <laughs> scared about the Blue Doggo again. And the damage does speak for it themselves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're good, you're good. I, lo <laughs> I love the way he's going. I think we're going to have smashes we're going one side and the other. Yeah, here yeah. we go, another one. This is a three-hit combo. This is the highest combo we've seen from Toxic in that game. No, this is really bad coming out from Toxic at this point. I mean, 102, Lucario with Rage and has all the center stage. Aura Sphere's not going to connect, but an, an Aura Sphere can KO at this point. Man. Yeah, they, oh, oh they are smashing there to connect. Again. Perfectly, we're done here by, was it T-Cat? That was Toxic. It was Toxic, yes, sorry. <laughs> Toxic's Perfectly laughing to by Toxic. 